Dildo Canada, what a pleasure to visit. Something I never really thought I'd say, but here I am about to take my wife and baby on a little adventure to see if this really is a town here in Newfoundland. We're starting our journey just outside St. John's after spending two days here eating our way through the city while enjoying some sightseeing and visiting North America's easternmost point. Luckily, it's only about an hour drive to Dildo, but there is so much to see here in Newfoundland, we make a few pit stops along the way. We're currently on a two week road trip, trying to see as much as we can of Newfoundland, starting from St. John's and working our way west before taking the ferry back over to Nova Scotia. And I must say, Newfoundland has completely beat our expectations. This place is magical and it feels like you're in, I was gonna say a different country. We are technically in a different country to the United States, but it just feels like you're somewhere else. Like it's unreal here. Well, I can't get over how calm the water is. Like, I just assumed, I guess, because you were so far north, that it would be, like, choppy and, like, not look so inviting. But it's just beautiful. That's my type of toilet right there. Calling your name or what? <laughs> I mean, there's even little toilets on the trail. It's beautiful. Before heading off on the trail, we spoke to a couple of locals who are also taking this hike and they said there's wild berries all over Newfoundland and you could just find them on the trails and pick them and eat them. Right now, blueberries are in season. So hopefully we'll see some blueberries and get to taste them. And juniper, right? And juniper berries. There is, I don't know, a bunch of local berries that we're not really familiar with. Cranberries. Cranberries, yeah. Which is surprising. I thought cranberries had to come, or had to grow in a bog. I don't know, but this hike is, Beautiful. Just one of my favorite hikes I've ever been on. It's a heavy claim too, but heavy it's claim. really, really nice. It's really, really nice. And the weather is just perfect right now, but it's really nice. A great way to start the day. So the folks over there are the locals and uh, they found some blueberries and now I know what to look for so I could find some for my own. Here we go. Oh, they're very little. Like little peanut berries. Try one. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. They taste just as good. Yeah, they're really good. How cool is that? To get berries on the walk here. Love it. Canada Blues. I might have to go get my own container for this. They're everywhere. My God. Oh, wow. There's so many. You want to touch a blueberry? Can't eat it. You want to touch it? Go ahead, grab it. Good job. Oh, you dropped it. Got a little hiker on our hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bob. Cranberry? I think so. If not, I might die tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully we're not eating poison berries. Who needs a cranberry? The views here are just endless. They don't stop. So pretty. You got more berries here? I think those are the ones she said right. might not be ready. <laughs> all day here. It's so peaceful, right? I just feel like you could, like, yeah, there's a clear, like, trail, but you don't even have to stay on it. You could just walk around anywhere you want. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. You can walk around wherever you want. This reminds me of Game of Thrones. Yeah, look at that. I mean, incredible. I love that there's not just one set trail here. It makes it really, really cool. You kind of go off and do your own little thing. The water is crystal clear, so we're gonna go put our toes in it. I wonder how cold it is. Probably pretty cold. And it's it's funny too, because it's so beautiful today, but there's literally a hurricane in the middle of the ocean right now, making its way to Newfoundland. So tomorrow is not gonna be as beautiful as right now. Oh, it's not bad. These little rocks are perfect for skipping stones. Drove across the Natchez Bridge today. You opened up the door. Ooh. Had to be one How that does that feel? Ooh. Ooh. How nice is the water? So nice. Amazing. Feels so good. And these rocks. So smooth. Are so smooth. And like, Perfect. Like you, there's so many rocks right here, but they don't even hurt. No, it's like exfoliating. 
You don't even need to bring snacks on this hike. The hike provides it. Free charge. This spot is amazing. We have full panoramic views up here. Wow. A little windy, but incredible. PB and J. Oh, why didn't we bring a PB and J? Oh, we didn't bring anything. Wow. Well, that certainly was a nice place to feed the baby. Sure was. <laughs> Probably the best view that you had while feeding him. And nice and windy. Cool up there. Yeah. True, it's very windy. I apologize if you uh, can't hear that one. A little loose rock right there. Too bad we didn't bring a container for the blueberries. Next hike we'll have to bring one. What an incredible hike. Not too strenuous. Perfect for a little baby. It's time to get a quick bite to eat and then we are off to Dilda. Tornado Quiet. rivers, just like your name, you're making your way back home. Nice little snack. <laughs> Great snack. Hey rivers, oh rivers, moving like all those Tennessee rivers, going to the ocean, making their way back home. Just like the roads, making your way back home. Just like your name, you're making your way back home. Well, we finally made it to Dildo. And there's basically two, well, three things to do here. Visit the Dildo Hollywood sign, which is right behind me. Visit the Dildo Brewery and Museum. And visit Nan and Pop's souvenir shop, which hits home to me because my grandparents are named Nan and Pop. Okay, so you might be wondering how the town got its name. And unfortunately, no one really knows, but legend says it's named after wooden ore pegs of boats, which were called dildos at the time. Apparently, folks back in the day thought the landscape looked like ore pegs, and it just stuck. This little town got a spike in popularity back in 2019, thanks to Jimmy Kimmel putting them on the map and becoming the honorary mayor. If I will be named the first ever mayor of a small town in Newfoundland, a town known as Dildo. He actually gifted the Dildo Hollywood-like sign that is now a must-see in town. So people around here are pretty witty because this town is called Dildo, which apparently was named before the actual Dildo, but the island not too far from here is called Spread Eagle Island. So I don't know, is it named based off the, uh, you know, the funny gestures or what? New Finlanders and their dirty minds. Off to the brewery? Yeah. All right. You want to go get a drink? Just kidding. Back in bags and fire. How was the walk? It's nice. Yeah? How's the big boy? He did great. Good job, bud. He bumped into mommy's head and probably gave her a fat lip, but... Nice. So apparently Dildo Brewing is known for their onion rings. World famous. World famous, so we'll be the judge of it. Mm -hmm. You like it? Those are great. Yeah. They're so crunchy. Oh my god. All right. World famous. <laughs> Dildo Brewing. 10 out of 10 recommend. Get the mozzarella sticks and the Rattler. Mozzarella sticks. Oh. <laughs> the onion rings. Get the onion rings and the Rattler. Off to our next destination. Off to our next destination. I think today was pretty successful with Dildo and Bay Roberts Heritage Hike. I think today was a win. What do you think, bud? Hey, over here. You're speechless? Over here. All right, time to get in the car seat.
To finish the night off, we found this perfect little spot by the water, having it all to ourselves. In the next episode, we continue west in search of the Atlantic Puffin and some more insane scenery. We're not really bird watchers, but for whatever reason, these little fellows keep us quite entertained. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.